Now we get underway with our pre-final for Minimax and here is your 23 strong starting grid. Pole position after a session that was actually uh, curtailed due to a, s a full course yellow with about three minutes remaining. Gage Moyes takes pole position and starts on position number one for this particular race. Alongside will be Sebastian Brand from Germany in the number 181. Richard Joppen and Jara Kivitzbosch ran out row two with Julian Dumas and Jeff Verbeek row three. James van der Poel and birthday boy yesterday Olivier Mazurkovic round out row four with AJ Bergraf and Vince van der Hollen rounding out the top ten. Devrim Jeter, uh, Lawrence van Vlanderen, uh, Milano Schiphorst, uh, Thibaut de Groot and Tim Steger ran out the top 15. Steger given a three-place penalty post-qualifying for unsportsmanlike driving behaviour. Uh, Tygo Holthausen, Mika Vonk, Jesse Andringa, Duncan Udsen, Taysden Decker, Liam Bastero, who was uh, in the tyre barriers earlier on, uh, ended up 21st with Jens Kielstra, 22nd. Maxim Becker from Germany in the 157 will have to start from the back of the grid due to a technical non-conformity found in scrutineering, demoting the number 157 to the back of the grid. So once again, it will be 10 minutes plus an additional lap, as we saw with Conor Halfer in qualifying. Managed to get up to second, but uh, Maxim Becker has got 22 drivers to get past in the next 14, 15 laps to take the win in the pre-final. But that is easier said than done. So the drivers make their way through the penultimate right-hander here at this 1,100 Euro final layout of Circuit Park Berhem as we're set to get underway here in the Minimax pre-final. Out of the final corner, into the tram lines, revs rise, are we ready, are we steady? National flag drops and we're underway first time and a good start from the outside of the front row by Sebastian Brand as the field makes its way two wider points through into turns one and two. Gage Moyes drops to second into turn four one running a little bit wide and onto the outside curbing getting a bit of a jolt through the spine as Cage Moyes trying to get through on Sebastian Brand for the race lead at turn five uh, Rigat Joppen who was also at the sharp end of qualifying earlier on today very much in the mix in P3 Yara Kivitz Bosch running fourth or fifth I expect but Sebastian Brand doing the right thing going very very much on the offensive at the start So through into the final corner they go, and it is going to be Germany's Sebastian Brandt that will lead the way, but it's a three-way scrap at the front end of the field. Cage Moyes back at the front end now, and it was 0.136 between Moyes, Brandt and Joppen. Olivier Mazurkovic has jumped all the way up from eighth and is now fourth and is chasing them down. Fifth, it's Jara Kivitz-Bosch uh, with Julian Dummer. Now there is an opportunity for Rickett Joppens to go for second on Sebastian Brand through turn five. And Brand defends very, very sternly. But this has allowed Gage Moyes to get away into the distance very, very quickly. The gap between first and second after the opening lap was just 71 thousandths. That gap looks to be at least three to four tenths of a second a little bit further back there is a bit of argy bargy through between an expri a tony car and a crg and someone went uh definitely doing the old danny ricklick the stamp and send it through turn one gage moyes after two laps has nearly a colossal lead of nine and best part of nearly nine and a half tenths of a second Ah, right, that is out of uh, possibly turn five, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but there is uh, a yellow flag out on circuit. Uh, Jeff Verbeek, uh, well, Maxim Becker opting to not start. Jeff Verbeek not starting either. So we're down to 21 drivers. So I'm not too sure who that was. I'll find that out as soon as the uh, timing uh, updates accordingly. Seven and a half minutes to go. And the driver is actually uh, getting get great work by the marshalling crew here at Circuit Park Berhem. And, ah, right, there was the 126. Jeff Verbeek, who made the move to move in power, uh, did not make the start. So he must have had a technical breakdown. 
Gage Moyes now has, ha has a lead over Rickert Joppen. So it is a Dutch 1-2. Germany occupy positions 3 and 4. Um, Olivier Mazurkovic now down to fifth place, but is battling away with Dummer for that fourth position. Vince van der Hollen, the winner of the final back at Karting Genk, is now up four positions from tenth and is sixth and is running very, very quickly indeed. Fastest lap of the race so far. Gage Moyes, no surprise, out in clear air. And that looks to be... Uh, oh, Lawrence van Vlaanderen is the driver that was off the circuit just a moment ago and is being swallowed up by the field. He's going to have to keep out of the way, so the blue flags will be waving to Lawrence van Vlaanderen to let the rest of the field go through. So Gage Moyes has a lead of now. It's gone down from a second to seven and a half tenths because Rickert Joppen that time was very, very much quicker. Over two and a half tenths quicker than Gage Moyes. New fastest lap of the race by the driver in third position, Julian Dummer from Germany. The 1-2-5, he started on the inside of row three, now up to third place. 49.611 and is trying to close on in. Meantime, Vince van der Hollen is right on the coattails of Sebastian Brandt running in the uh, FM livery. Of course, uh, another person that had a birthday yesterday in the Rotax community, uh, Maxi Fleischmann, uh, also had uh, a birthday to celebrate. Uh, I'm not too sure how, head is, how his head is feeling if he's had too much to drink last night, but he may not have done. However, we're coming up to 40 seconds to go before we hit half-time on the 10-minute timer before we go into the last couple of laps. Ricker Joppen has been absolutely demolishing that gap that uh, Gage Moyes had after the first two to three laps as there's Vince van der Hollen up the inside through at turn five, nice and neatly through on Sebastian Brandt. And just behind them is going to be James van der Poel in the 106 running on the Sony Kart chassis. Uh, Milano Schipost, uh, Jara Kivitsbosch and AJ Burgraf round out the top ten. Tim Steger's made up three places to 12th behind Duncan Hudson in the number 177. We've now hit half time as we're going to go on to lap seven of this race. And James van der Poel in the wheel tracks is, was possibly looking to go up the inside of Sebastian Brandt through into turn one. Thoughts better of it. Rickert Joppen was 63 thousands behind Cage Moyes after lap six. So that now means uh, Cage Moyes has got to be very, very careful, not make any unforced errors. Don't succumb to the pressure from the driver that is right on your rear bumper. So down onto the uh, back stretch, heading into the final two right-handers, into the penultimate right-hander here at the circuit, Gage Moyes trying to just keep it nice and calm. Don't be irrational or erratic with the steering, the inputs on the throttle and the brakes. Uh, James van der Poel has got past Sebastian Brand eventually and has gapped him. So Sebastian Brand might be between a bit of a rock and a hard place. And I think has just lost out to Milano Schiphol in the meantime. That looks to be the case. As the two leaders make their way through into turn number five and six. Uh, Mazurkovic closing in on Julian Dummer on the 125 entry for third place. Van der Hollen in fifth. Van der Poel sixth. Brandt looks to be eighth. Maybe make that... Ah, right. There has been a chain, change. So uh, it was Jara Kivitz-Bosch that is now... He was uh, trying to get through on Sebastian Brandt. Brandt retook the position. And just behind them, they've got AJ Burgraf. So Moyes leads by just over a tenth from Joppen, Duma, Mazurkovic. Uh, Devrim Yater has dropped down six positions from 11th on the starting grid to now 17th. As here comes the move from Rickert Joppen. There's a bit of, uh, little bit of grazing between the pair. And it's not about uh, a uh, farmyard animal grazing the grass. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a rub between the pair, but Vince van der uh, well, Vince van der Hollen is trying to close in on uh, Olivier Mazurkovic, who is trying to frantically get through on Julian Dummer and could make the move into the penultimate right-hander, and it happens. That's a great move from the young man who celebrated his 12th birthday yesterday. 
incredible stuff but Julian Dumet is not going to let that go by any stretch of the imagination two and a half minutes remaining on the timer some great scraps but this is allowing Vince van der Haaland to close in on the battle and he's right on the back bumper of Julian Dumet coming out of turn four he's looking to the inside line possibly to get the side draft wasn't able to do so Cage Moyes in the meantime has kept that position ahead of Rikard Joppen and now defensive goes Dumet on van der Haaland in the meantime AJ Berggraf has now moved up to ninth, having got past Yara Kivitz Bosch. But this scrap here, oh, mistake there from Julian Dummer. And did that mean that Vince van der Hollen's going to keep it around the outside? They're bang side wheels, side walls. And still, Julian Dummer holds on to that position by the skin of the race overalls on his back. But Keij Moy still frantically keeping a hold of that race lead. Enrique Joppen. This is, an, this is a titanic battle at the front end. And now that Duma and van der Hollen were battling, that's released Mazurkovic. And it's also brought into the fray for fourth place, James van der Poel in the 106 Sodi cart. Incredible battling that we are seeing by these young drivers in the, micro, in the Mini Max class. Absolutely fantastic. That's what you want to see. These young drivers are hungry, motivated. Pretty much every one of them wants to go into Formula 1, but that's going to be an opportunity for Vince van der Hollen. But it's going to open the door for James van der Poel. And now it's going to be into the penultimate right-hander. Will Vince van der Hollen get through on Gillian Dummer? The answer is yes. This is incredibly close, and there is the move for the race lead. Rickert Joppen, did he get through on Cage Moyes? Yes, he did. 27 thousandths behind the number 134 on the start finish line when we completed lap number 11 and Rika Joppen now has 34 seconds plus two laps to battle away with Gage Moyes but in the meantime uh, Vince van der Laan has the fastest lap of the race 48.254 Gage Moyes looking up the inside but a mistake there from Rika Joppen they bang side walls again to the two leaders and Olivia Mazurkovic has got the ringside seat. It was 0.73 between the top three. This is going to be an almighty battle into the final corner. Cage Moyes retakes the lead. Mazurkovic looking to get through on Joppen, but has to hold on for third of the minute. Two and a half tenths covering the top three. Cage Moyes was like a coiled spring going through that final corner and was saying to Rick at Joppen, you've got to do exactly what I want you to do. You're going to play my game, not the other way around. Timer has hit zero. Three drivers are contesting the race lead. Cage Moyes, who has led pretty much most of the race laps so far. Rick at Joppen right with him at the minute, along with Olivia Mazurkovic, who is going to come out on top. Whilst they're squabbling, Vince van der Hollen is closing on him, but there is a battle a little bit further behind. There's going to be two more laps to go, 2,200 metres to decide the race winner. Mazurkiewicz again looking to get the slingshot out of the final corner. Not quite happening in the minute. 0.18 separate the top three once more as we go on to our penultimate lap. Lap 14 out of 15. Cage Moyes has done a fantastic job so far, really keeping Rick at Joppen. And now he's got to do the same with Olivia Mazurkiewicz. Incredible, what incredible racing that we are seeing so far. And uh, in the meantime, Milano Schiphol has got past Julian Dummer. So the number 125, the champion last year, has been against the walls, uh, had his back against the walls, so to speak. But Mazurkovic is trying to go for broke and see if he can go for the race win. One more lap to go. Cage Moyes looks over the right shoulder. Now the real defence starts happening. A tenth and a half separating the top three. Incredible going on to the final lap into turn four for the final time. This is absolutely brilliant stuff. And Mazurkiewicz has tried to pull alongside Joppen coming out of turn four into turn five. Mazurkiewicz trying every trick in the playbook. Tries to get the switch back through six. It's not going to work there. And now they see who's behind them. It's Vince van der Hollen in the number one three zero that has caught them. And this has allowed the breakaway for Gage Moyes that he needed, that he wanted. And he had at the beginning of the race. And there's van der Hollen up the inside of Mazurkovic for third. But out of the final corner, the checkered flag will wave. And what a job by Gage Moyes to take the win. And that was just 
absolutely heart in your mouth, nails being bitten to the quick kind of race that you want to see. Gage Moyes wins the Mini Max pre final by nearly eight and a half tenths of a second after 15 laps. And for the last three heading into that last lap, it was no more than, say, what, three tenths of a second. Rickert Joppen takes P2. Vince van der Hollen storms from 10th on the grid to finish third. Head of Olivier Mazurkiewicz. Milano Schiphorst up eight places from 13th to finish fifth ahead of James van der Poel. AJ Burgraff started ninth, finished in seventh ahead of Julian Dummer, Jara Kiewitz-Bosch and Sebastian Brandt, who was on the outside of the front row of the grid. Tim Steger up to 11th at the finish ahead of Duncan Utzen, Thibaut de Groot, um, Mika Vonk, Taigo uh, Holthausen, Jesse Adringa, Liam Bestero up four places from 21st to finish 17. Uh, Devon Mieta dropped seven places at the checkered flag to finish 18th. Uh, Dyson Decker, uh, Jens Kielstra and Lawrence van Vlanderen rounding out the 21 finishers. Uh, Jeff Rebeek uh, a non-starter and Maxime Becker also a non-starter on that one.